here, something about May 1st will be the wrap-up date. And yeah. what does that refer to? Uh, I suppose uh, that it has reference to the uh, complete uh, takeover of the uh, by the new government. Uh, maybe just uh, maybe a tad. I can just real quickly rehearse what what has been done or what's being done. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, <laughs> it goes all the way back to the Civil War. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that we that the whole country has been under military occupation ever since the Civil War. Uh, uh, the, it, the, the, the war has been mislabeled. It was not uh, a war uh, between the states. It was a war of the federal government against the state. And so as a result of that uh, uh, thing that went on there, uh, the whole country came under military occupation, and we've operated that way since. Now, some of you perhaps have listened to Drake Bailey, and uh, Drake uh, had been involved in this for a very long time. Uh, but uh, also myself, well, probably about seven or eight years ago, one of my uh, high-level uh uh, CIA sources told me that the U.S. Army had, in fact, created a full-blown interim government, and they were stationed in uh, West Virginia. So, uh, and they were simply there waiting until such a time that it would be necessary for them to step forward. At this point in history, they have stepped forward, and then uh, there was a certain amount of concern uh, that they were worried that the people might think that this is a uh, military coup. But, you know, that could be, that's nowhere close to it. It's not a military coup. It's, in fact, a correction. So uh, they went into operation. Uh, 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 near the start of 2015. And there were certain things that had to happen in order to be recognized as a valid government. Number one, they had to create a national currency. And, but they lacked gold. They didn't have any gold with which they could comply with Basel III. And so there had to be some things done. And so in consequence of that, the Chinese elders along about April... 2015 leased 100 billion in gold to the new republic, and they also gave them 385 billion in cash for operational expenses. Now these are things that uh, I know about. I was informed of these things uh, by my friends in the international. I said, "Okay, here's what's happened." All right, now. Now that they had the gold so they could create a new currency that would be Basel III compliant, they moved forward and they created uh, what, what is known as Treasury Reserve Notes. Now, these, these particular instruments are for use at the government level. But they're not on the street. However, they had been trading uh, in the international uh I mean, they were, they were being traded in Europe all through the summer and, and Japanese stock markets, Forex and everything. They were trading on them in the fall, so we know it's valid. Uh, so we, know, we know it's a good currency. Now, for the for the money on the street, the money that you and I would be using, they have created what's known as United States notes much like what President Kennedy had created way back in uh, uh, 1963. Some of you have studied, studied that history, you know what I'm talking about. So in any event, uh, those currencies uh, will be the currencies that will come out and be used uh, to facilitate uh, the uh, changeover. And, and they are being used. They're already in the banks. 
uh, we have been really surprised that they have not uh, instituted those things, already, that they haven't released those funds already. But I see the wisdom in what they're doing. And so when this, when this interim government first entered the picture, it, it was said that, that uh, General Carter Ham would be the uh, interim president, and then they run into certain roadblocks, uh, most of which were centered with uh, the problems in the Pentagon. They overcame those problems. And so at that point, uh, the Marine Corps General Dunford, they sent a reply out there for all you Marines. But in any event, uh, General Dunford <laughs> was selected to be the uh, uh, interim uh, president because he was, in fact, he was appointed by Congress to be the Joint Chief. They got rid of Martin Dempsey finally, thank God for that. But in any event, uh, 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 General Dunford then filled the role at that point as the uh, interim president. And then they got to thinking, apparently, and so they changed course a bit, and they they went back and referenced what had happened with the Nixon administration. Some of you old enough to remember that. Remember Nixon? <laughs> Bill Agnew came in oh, as yeah. uh, president and vice president, and then uh, Agnew got convicted or got some felonies thrown at him, so he stepped down. They... 